Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Star Wars Rebels Shorts. I didn't know this was actually a thing before starting the series, but apparently this is like a prequel to episode one and two of Star Wars Rebels. So just before you watch the show, you watch these usually, I guess. But there's four episodes here. They're all four minutes long. Very, very short. It seems like extremely short TikTok length. But yeah, I'm, we're just going to watch all four here. It's going to be spliced all together and I'll talk about them at the end. Maybe this will offer some backstory to the characters, even more backstory, I guess, or something. I actually don't know. I don't know anything. But by the time I'm watching this, I've only watched the first three episodes of season one. So that's the context. Here we go. Let's hop into it. Subscribe. Thank you for recommending me, by the way, in the comments. Starting with episode one, The Machine in the Ghost. Ah, okay. A little plan words with the ghost in the machine. I get it. Chopper's the machine. The ghost is the ship. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. The machine and the ghost. I don't know how much I'm able to include of this. I'm still gonna edit it like it's a normal episode and cut stuff out so that I don't get uh, destroyed by copyright. Well, it made sense at the time. Yeah, they call each other love. Okay, so I, I do get that they have a closer relationship. Hera and Kane. I wonder if these aired before Rebels came out. Chopper's voice is funny. I'm a little busy, Chop. <laughs> the way he just like bangs things to get their attention. Wait, what are you doing back here? Shouldn't you be fixing the shields? Dude, the original trilogy music. I need to talk to Captain Hera right now. Get back up there and fix the shield. Captain Hera. Oh. He's just the in-between man. Oh no. Dude. That looks so fun. Able to handle one lone TIE fighter on his own. Chop's not having it. Chopper, Chopper where are you going? Good deed, Chop. Tell Hera it was all Kanan that did it. Alright, I'll admit it. That was some fine shooting. Thanks. You too. <laughs> Just kidding, Chop. We know you got that last one. Oh, okay. Now get that com fixed. And the shields? Don't forget the shields. Ah, oh, he's really the real MVP. Yo, are he, he cussing at them? That's <laughs> That's so short. I, I like it though. I wonder why they made these and didn't just make these scenes in the episodes. They fit so well. Like, I mean, it just feels like watching a Rebels episode. I kind of forgot it was going to end in 30 seconds. Art attack. Here we go. My ears. Move along. This is a restricted area. He sounded a bit different, the stormtrooper. I need to know the lore of where she got this Mandalorian stuff. Cause she happily takes off her mask and everything. She's not like, you know, Mando or anything. You hear that? Not part of that cult. Wait, yeah. She's spraying. She likes to paint. Her chair and then the ship as well. You you're doing? Has a lot of play? cool design on it. Well, well, stand down, or we shoot. Okay, shoot. Hey, I like this so much better than actual rebels. The storm, the stormtroopers here. They're not all the same voice. I love that. So far, three episodes in the Rebels, they're all Steve Bloom. Steven Bloom. Love that guy. But we already got him voicing Zeb and a million other characters and things. Stormtroopers aren't clones. They can't all have the same voice. I like this. They are all, all three that have been in the episode so far have sounded different. He also, Steven Bloom might voice the Jedi Survivor Stormtroopers. It sounds like it when I play that game. I think you boys need a little more time on the practice range. This is TK-626. There's an intruder on site. On our way. Yeah, I love that. The voice is... Blessed. One intruder in Mando gear. Still at large. Mando gear. They're even... I didn't... 
For some reason, I didn't think they actually said Mando in Star Wars until Mandalorian came out. It actually is short for, like, Mandalorian. I had no idea. I thought people were just, like, making that up as Mandalorian went on as an easier way to say it. They really, they really say Mando. You rebel Scott. Spray his eyes. He even had it on stun. Thermal detonator? Why you gotta get that close? How dumb are... How dumb are the stormtroopers? Worse than droids. Explosion from here. Forget the explosion. Ah. Hey, I just remembered. Oh, look at that. The color is cool. She's all, she's all about color. Yeah, her whole Mando armor and everything. I really, I really do like that. Ooh, if I like her character a lot by the end of Rebels, which I, th I think I'm gonna really like these characters for some reason. Like Clone Wars, I go into it knowing it's gonna be Obi-Wan Anakin, this cool new character, Ahsoka, when I first went in. But I'm gonna recognize all these prequel characters. This is entirely new to me, new Star Wars stuff. And it's like, I don't know what to expect. And I'm already really loving the characters. that They did a really good job. But yeah, if I enjoy Sabine enough throughout, I might need to get that Mando helmet. It is pretty cool. It's like battle scarred almost. Kind of worn down with the pink paint colors. She's pretty sick. But yeah, I just remembered um, in episode two, she actually sprayed some orange paint and then that had, uh, it exploded. I didn't realize that's just what she does. She has like explodable spray paint. Next one, Entanglement. Let's go. Well, maybe it's an episode for every character. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah, where are you? I'm at the rendezvous point. Where are you? You're not at the rendezvous point because I'm at the rendezvous point. Uh, where's the rendezvous point again? In an alley <laughs> by the marketplace. Well, he is in an alley. In an alley. Yeah. <laughs> clearly not the right. Oh, one of those little dudes. <laughs> he does act like a Wookiee. Purple work Wookiee. Just bashing heads together. That's an interesting R2 unit, with the clear helmet. Hey, he actually knocked his helmet off. Yo, he's the actual powerhouse of the group. Wait, are you fighting stormtroopers? What makes you say that? I heard blaster fire. And hey, that one was Steven Bloom, I heard it. Pete, LS-607 needs reinforcements. How many intruders are there? How many? One. Commander, just get over here. <laughs> Copy that. One. Oh, the way he's crawling. Little monkey. Uh, Zeb, are you embarrassing the Imperials again? Honestly, Kane, it's hard not to. It's hard not to. That's great. That's where they keep the... Is that lore accurate? Must be. Yeah, where else would they keep the... <gasps> One of the yummy fruit. Okay, yes. Insane absolute tank powerhouse. Actual Wookiee power coming from, from him. Wookiee warrior. Should I just call him a Wookiee? I'm just surprised he does all this without a helmet or anything on, like to disguise his face. Uh, as we've learned in episode three, there's not many Lasats left. I'm pretty sure if they ever see Lasat again, they're gonna be like, hey yo, that's the guy. That's the guy that just took on our entire Imperial force back on wherever that is. That looks like the starting planet from episode one. Episode one of Rebels, not the uh, movies. Yeah, Zeb's definitely the type of guy that's just like, well, I'm lost, I'm still gonna have fun with it. And then just goes and destroys everyone. Episode four, Property of Ezra Bridger. I wonder if he's whistling an actual song. I don't, I can't recognize it. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Dang. I was wondering why there was yellow flashes because I knew the, the blasters are green, so I was... I guess it was the mix of colors. What's he gonna do to him? <laughs> He's standing on the, the lid. The cockpit. That's a scary sight. But they're just dudes. He's just... He's invading his... His cockpit. Is he looting him? <laughs> Yo, he actually is Aladdin. 
He is totally Aladdin. <laughs> Just starts playing Aladdin music. I totally would. But, uh, copyright. Yo, I don't think the blaster's aiming at him. I think it's gonna blow yourself up. Oh, he got that Jedi sense. He knew. Oh, now you gotta end him. Possible. I love the- Oh, the slingshot. Ain't no way. It's just a stun. His slingshot is sick. That's the only one I've ever seen in Star Wars. Sir, thank <laughs> he looked like a little Lego figure. Look at him go. And that's it. <laughs> Ezra's great. So that is Star Wars Rebels shorts, I guess. <laughs> Very short. I, I enjoyed it though. I really think they could have just... I mean, they made a whole new Disney Plus tab and logo for it and everything. It's crazy that there's only four. Like, in total, 16 minutes. Not even, because, like, credits are taking up space, the intro. Probably more like 12 minutes total for everything. It's like, I feel like they could have just made, put those scenes, like, fit them in the episode somewhere. I wonder why they decided to do shorts. I'm actually going to look up if Star Wars Rebels shorts came first, because I was, if I'm, I'm thinking about this in my head, like, they had all these different Stormtrooper voices. This is totally before they got Steven Bloom, right? I know I, for the past three episodes of Rebels, I've been talking about him a lot, but he seems like he's going to be a reoccur reoccurring character since the whole Rebels thing is going to be about stormtroopers instead of clones and droids and whatever. So sorry if I'm talking about him too much, but it's just uh seems like an important character, important voice actor, I guess. Okay, yeah, it says a f it came out a few months before the premiere of the show. So people did really start with that. Interesting, so you just got a cool little introduction of all the characters. So that's totally before they just got like Stephen Bloom, which I I enjoyed it more here. I enjoyed the Stormtroopers more here. Maybe they change later on. That's literally my only complaint with the show because I'm just like, I just don't like them all standing the same. I know it's like a lot more work to hire a bunch of actors, voice actors, I guess, for every single different Stormtrooper, but you don't need to do that. You could just have like, four different people doing the voices but so far in the first three episodes every single one has sounded the exact same and it's just annoyed me so i really enjoyed it the stormtroopers in this these shorts but yeah everyone got their screen time um I, I need to know more about all the characters still though i really do episode three of rebels we got some interesting backstory about lasats so that was what i was curious about zeb um because we've only ever seen one other lasat at least to my knowledge or memory. So interesting Lasat backstory, very sad story that Munchop Man, um, who I can't ever remember the name of, I should probably write it down, uh, led a bunch of soldiers there and killed a bunch of Lasats with disruptor rifles. Probably microwaving their incisor or whatever that, that would do to them. As for Kanan, I really wanna know when he, f I wanna see like his reaction, kind of like Ezra here when he found out he was a Jedi. Maybe he was born into it and everything like that. But you know, I wanna know more about him discovering his, his potential as a Jedi and how he met Hera in the first place because it seems like they're, they got some kind of relationship going, right? They talk to each other as if they're in a relationship, sometimes at least. Sabine, I wanna know more about her. We've learned her parents are dead because of the Empire or she didn't use dead, but she doesn't have parents and it was the Empire's fault. So maybe they went and joined the Stormtroopers and uh, became Stormtroopers or something, I don't know. But they might not be dead, who knows? I think Ezra said he had a similar story to her where he doesn't have parents anymore because of the Empire. Chopper, don't know who made him, probably Hera. She's just like the pilot, so she probably was assigned Chopper a long, long time ago um, and just kept him all this time. I don't know. I'm interested. I'm just kind of making my own headcanon backstories for these characters, but I'm sure we'll learn as the show progresses. But definitely the one we know least about is Hera, for sure. She has not been the key focus of any of these three episodes here. She's been just like the uh, chauffeur <laughs> for the team. I'm sure she'll turn into a pretty interesting character later on though. But yeah, I really want to know where Sabine got all that armor. Did she loot it off someone? Is she from Mandalore in any way? Mandalore was a bit beaten up last time we saw it in Clone Wars. <laughs> so I don't know. She doesn't have the, um, the crest, I don't think, on. She has some other symbols, but it could just be like drawings that she put on her armor. But she's definitely an interesting character. And her name sounds like Satine to me, so I keep on getting it mixed up. Anyways, though, really enjoy these shorts. Thank you guys for recommending them. Hopefully they don't get copyrighted and taken down. Uh, hopefully I can include 
a lot of it because they're very short anyways and yeah i'm just gonna put this up as a separate video so anyways comment down below your thoughts on the shorts and my uh, your thoughts on my opinions about like the stormtrooper voice and stuff and maybe i'm ta talking about that too soon maybe they really do have a lot of different stormtrooper voices but so far in three episodes they only use one dude to voice them but yeah that is my really only complaint about rebels so far so if that's something that gets fixed in the future, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, it's probably, it's not that big of a spoiler. It's, yeah, I usually don't like knowing any information on the future of the shows, but that's not anything big. So, and it's a, it's a, it's a nitpick for sure. It's not anything crazy. But yeah, let me know your opinions. Um, leave a like on the video, subscribe. If you want to watch um, episodes earlier, a week ahead, you can become a member. Hit the join button down below yeah, near the description and you can become a member to watch early episodes. So. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one very, very soon.